All right, today is Friday, April 22nd, 2016 here at Long Branch. It's been a while since I've done a video update on our current tiny home build. So here you see the wire that's going to be connected to the solar panels on the roof. And uh, we had to come up with a really nice way of running the wires right into that peak. So the wires are uh, covered and we did not have to make any penetrations into the metal roof, which is great. Eliminates the possibility of leakage in the future. So we got a lot done this week. We got the metal roof installed. Let me go down this, down the ladder here and take a look inside. We had contractors at work all week, including the solar contractor. We also had the electrician come in. We have a licensed electricians do all the electrical work on our homes. So he's got the electrical roughed in. We've kept it as simple as possible. Uh, we're going to have all LED light fixtures and uh, just minimal, minimal fixtures, minimal receptacles. So here's the bathroom. So we'll have a light there. We've got a, an outlet here, switch box here. We'll have an exhaust fan up in this bay, shower will be here and here's the kitchen area that's what it'll look like when we're done so some outlet boxes and here our propane contractor actually uh, he's using this as sort of a test they used copper to run since this is such a tight space only two by four walls in fact the electrician had to buy himself a new drill because the big drill he uses on his 2x6 walls just couldn't get into this 2x4 at the right angle. So he bought himself a nice new drill, which he was, he was happy about because guys love buying new tools. Uh, 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 uh. i got the hangers on here for this small loft that will go in this area. Here's our electrical box. Uh, we've got an outlet going out for power out. This receptacle is actually where the house is going to plug in when we have power. That we're going to, it's going to plug into a voltage regulator in the house and that will charge the batteries as well as solar when the sun is out. But when we're at, a, at an electrical outlet, we won't have to worry about darkness or lack of sun. We'll still be able to charge things up. So, lots done here. Electrical, solar started. Uh, rough in for the propane, which is going to be for our hot water heater, which is going to be under the counter right there. We've got a gas stove, which I can show you in a moment. Going to go right here. And we've got a Renai gas heater. It's going to go on the floor in this area. And you can see I boxed in this wheel well. I've got that insulated and I started insulating this one. That's Roxel insulation. It's a mineral product, very green product, some there as well. R15. I can go in and show you some of the appliances that arrived today actually. There's the Renai heater, it's 11,000 BTUs. Got a small nine cubic foot refrigerator, perfect for a tiny home. And this is actually an RV type gas stove, even has a little oven. And here are our solar panels back here. I got four panels. Those will go up next week. Yeah, we got a bunch of light fixtures, all kinds of stuff back there. Oh, and here's our one of our cabinets. This is where the Renai, no, I'm sorry, the uh, hot water heater is going to sit right there. And it's an R, again an RV type propane heater, six gallons. These are our overhead cabinets, ready to go. And actually, our large cabinet is under wraps right here. Did a great job on this. 
in our potable hot water, uh, excuse me, our potable water storage tank right here under this cabinet. I guess that's about it.